In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are observing the second Sunday of the ordinary season of the liturgical year. We are what we are and where we are, not only by our choice, but also by the call that we have received from God. And but for the God's call, we would not be where we are. But for the God's call, we would not be what we are. And this is something, a basic belief that we all should believe in. And when God has called us to be this and that and this place and that place, he has a mission given to us. And basically, it is a mission to be transmitters of goodness, transmitters of beauty, transmitters of good news. And today we are called upon to find for ourselves how much we are really conscious of this role to be a transmitters of goodness, the beauty, and the good news to prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love that is recalled to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. This we ask of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Samuel. Samuel was lying in the sanctuary of the Lord, where the ark of God was. When the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, he answered, Here I am. Then he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. Eli said, I did not call, go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Once again, the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. He replied, I did not call you, my son. Go back and lie down. Samuel had yet no knowledge of the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. Once again the Lord called the third time. He got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. Eli then understood that it was the Lord who was calling the boy. And he said to Samuel, Go and lie down, and if someone calls, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord then came and stood by, calling as he had done before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him and let no word of his fall to the ground. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I'm with you, 
from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The body is not meant for fornication. It is for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. God, who raised the Lord from the dead, will by his power raise us up too. You know surely that your bodies are members making up the body of Christ. Anyone who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Keep away from fornication. All the other sins are committed outside the body. But to fornicate is to sin against your own body. Your body, you know, is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you since you received him from God. You are not your own property. You have been bought and paid for. That is why you should use your body for the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. As John stood with the two of his disciples, Jesus passed by, and John stared hard at him and said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. Hearing this, the two disciples followed Jesus. Jesus turned around and saw them following and said, What do you want? They answered, Rabbi, which means teacher, where do you live? Come and see, Jesus replied. So they went and saw where he lived and stayed with him the rest of the day. It was about the tenth hour. One of these two who became followers of Jesus after hearing what John had said was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. Early next morning, Andrew met his brother and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which means the Christ. And he took Simon to Jesus. Jesus looked hard at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Saphirs, meaning rock. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Amen. creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come, the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Called by God to intercede for the world, 
let us offer our prayers to the Father as one body and one spirit in Christ. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That all people, especially those who no longer practice their faith, may hear the Christ's voice through the loving and patient witness of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That world leaders may heed the call of God to work for the unity and welfare of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That frontliners, scientists, civic officials, and all those involved in fighting the pandemic may receive God's wisdom and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That we may always be fitting temples of the Holy Spirit by avoiding sin and following Christ in word and deed. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the departed who were joined to the Lord in baptism may be raised by God's power to share eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let's pray for our personal intentions in silence. Hear our prayer, O loving Father, and make us attentive to your voice, that we may be true witnesses of Christ and draw others to follow him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. sisters and brothers that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father that the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the, for the praise and glory of God's name, name for, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church grant us O Lord we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated the work of our redemption is accomplished Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises had nothing to your greatness, but profit us for the salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all your created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to your setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And so, therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, grace and make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed jesus himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your Son, his wonders, resurrection, and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, our patron, St. Paul, and with all the saints on whose constant, constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Paul our Bishop, the order of bishops, the religious, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously.
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. To your in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and also free from the floods of badness and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her and to her homes and to our hearts the peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Lamb of God, behold him who takes service in another world. He himself is our good Lord, all good, only good, every good. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to see you, but only to say the word.
you have prepared your table before me and how precious is the chalice that quenches my thirst let us pray pour on us o lord the spirit of your love and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread one in mind and heart grant this through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless us all the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in the peace of christ amen.